And then on top of it, to be able to hit girls. And then, you know, to be able to get up from being hit by girls. And over the years, it's progressed from just this like really fun hobby thing to like a really strong passion. Women's roller derby is making a comeback and the hard-hitting Philadelphia roller girls are proving women can play contact sports too. Uh, the first time I got whaled was a rude awakening and but as soon as I got hit and as soon as I laid my, my first hit it was like I couldn't get enough I just felt like this is really where I belong. It's the neon tights, tattoos, and skates that make roller derby famous for its alternative flair. But over the years, it has evolved into a more athletic sport and less of a theatrical event. This is Christy Goldie. During the day, she works in administrative services at Temple University, answering phone calls and being polite. But during the night, she goes by her skater name, Goldie. Goldie jamming for the heavy metal hookers. And she is anything but polite, knocking into girls and pushing by to score points for the heavy metal hookers. She says going fast has always been something she identifies with. It, it's powerful. It's, uh, there's an identity to, to roller derby that I think draws most people in to begin with. It's getting more and more athletic and less, a little less alternative. Though there's always that little spark of alternative to it. But I think those are the things that drew, drew me to it. To play flat track roller derby, two teams skate in the same direction around the track, attempting to lap the most team members of the opposing team. The scoring player, called the jammer, must successfully get through the pack in order to gain the most points for their team, while the blockers join together to prevent the other team from getting through. I definitely look for speed in some girls, you know, because I, I need them jammers. I need them girls that are going to score points and go fast for me. But I tend to like some of the bigger girls that you know have a little bit of size on them because I like. I like having bigger blockers. While most people associate roller derby with scripted fighting like pro wrestling, these girls will assure you that the hits are real. In professional wrestling, they, they use the term work because you have two people who are trying to make it look as if they're fighting, they're working, they're doing their job. There's differences in what you're going to see on the track from what you'd see in the work sport. You cannot punch people, you cannot elbow people. Um, and the reason behind that is for the safety of the skaters. The rules of Roller derby of women's flat track derby association style roller derby is rooted in competitiveness, but also in the recognition that it has to be safe play. Going all the way back to the 1930s, roller derby served as entertainment during the Depression. In the 1950s, audiences filled up Madison Square Garden to see National Roller Derby League matches. The league later adapted fake storylines and scripted fights, trying to appeal to a televised audience, but the sport ended up declining in popularity. Roller Derby's modern revival in 2001 led to teams popping up around the country, featuring a counterculture image of costumes, tattoos, and stripper-like stage names. Today, there are more than 450 competitive leagues around the country. The Philadelphia Roller Girls say one of the best parts of the sport is the strong women involved and the support of their team. It's a family. I have such a strong support system now with all these women. They're great. If I need anything, anything at all, even if it's like, help my car broke down, I can call one of them and I know that they'll come. We, uh, we play the Rocky theme. Everyone's uh, dun 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 You know, we go through the whole thing. And that really gets everyone pumped up. You know, everyone feeds off each other. For Crossroads, I'm Abby Rozier.